And my experiences right throughout the years was that I was always able to adapt into different cars. In the GT era, for instance, I drove a Di Tommaso Pantera. And uh, whilst it wasn't a terrifically competitive car on every circuit, as soon as it rained, away it went. You know, it was, uh, it was just a very good car in the wet. And uh, mainly due to the fact that it didn't have a great deal of power to start with. But uh, chassis-wise, uh, it was a wet weather special car. Um, those experiences I've, I've, I've got in there, the number of cars that I've driven over the years is phenomenal. Hundreds of different motor cars and uh, great experiences right throughout life. Right now, we're going to take you to Neil Crompton. Adding some spice to this weekend's sports sedan and GT race, an old stager, a man in a new vehicle, Kevin Bartlett, the new Pantera, is a fascinating motor car. It's a good-looking beast, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite a good thing. We've uh, raced it twice, once at Oran Park uh, and the other time at Winton. We're pretty fortunate at Winton and uh, one in the wet. Uh, it's not going to rain here, obviously, but uh, yeah, it's quite a good car. Concept's fantastic. Barry Locks, the builder and designer of the car, and it's uh, owned and sponsored by the toy shop mainly, and uh, it's got various sponsors on the car, which obviously people will see as it goes around. Uh, the concept's good. There's a long way to go with it as far as the chassis is concerned, uh, and the engine power plant we have in has got a measly 500 horsepower. A <laughs> measly 500 horsepower yep. toy. Yeah, we've got a good engine coming, it's got 640, <laughs> but I want to get the chassis right first. It must take you back to the old Formula 5000 days. Very reminiscent of a Formula 5000, in fact. It, it, it feels like a Formula 5000, really, with more aerodynamics, which it has got, which it is. Um, I'm not quite at the rowdy stage as I was with Formula 5000s, of course, and uh, I'll drive it accordingly to, uh, well, depends how we get the chassis right. If it gets better, I'll drive it harder, but that's all. And plans to continue driving this car later in the year? Well, that's certainly up to the toy shop. Uh, I would say yes. Uh, we've got on pretty well. They're, uh, they're very nice people and very devoted to many, many things in motorsport. It must be very hard to get in and out of a Group A car and then into a car like this. Well, lately it hasn't been too hard to get out of a Group A car because I haven't been in one. Um, I haven't even done any testing uh, as far as the Mitsubishi is concerned. and. Uh, Hopefully in the next couple of weeks, yes, we'll, we'll get a few miles under the belt with it in time for the, uh, for the start of the Endurance Championship here and, uh, and at Oran Park. What about teething problems with the car? Inevitably, with a, a purpose-built motor car like this, there's drama. There doesn't seem to have been too many. Well, there have been a few little niggly problems, but they're behind-the-scenes problems, and uh, we've been able to fix them without them being apparent on the racetrack. Happy with yesterday's form? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Look forward to seeing you throw the cat amongst the pigeons in today's race. Oh, very nice, yes. <laughs> the, the white pussy cat. Thanks, Kevin. Kevin Bartlett looking good in the Camelco Wonderlick Sports Sedan Series. Here's Mike to read the grid. Thank you very much, Neil Crompton. Well, Kevin Bartlett, of course, there in that wild-looking Pantera, ready to come out onto the uh, racetrack. Might be timely now to have a look through the grid, how they'll line up the top 12 today from pole position is in fact uh, car five, Kevin Bartlett in the Pantera with a 50.27. Starting out of two is number 41, Mike Griffin in the Mazda RX-7. From three is car three, Peter Fitzgerald in the Porsche. From four, car number 77, John Burke in the Celica. From five, car 50, Peter McLeod in the Mazda RX-7. From six is car 14, Keith Carling in a Mazda. From position seven, 104, Gary Scott of Queensland in the Nissan Bluebird. From eight, car 49, Bob Tindall in the Tirana. From 957, John Vernon in the Escort. From 1043, Ian Stones in a Mazda. From 11, 105, Glenn Seaton in the Nissan Pulsar, rounding off the top 12, number 11, Bill Attard in the Mazda RX-7. Then, of course, Chris Holmes, Simon Harrix, who I don't think will be starting due to problems earlier today, Graham Nolan, Mal Rose, Albert Cedars, Michael Caruso, Nick Middenway, Ken Davidson, Wally Kramer, Graham Bailey, Michael Jacobson of Victoria, Ray Butterworth and Steve Wosley. So it's a fairly strong-looking field. 25, probably take out one or two there. 23 starters, Simon Harrix. I don't think we'll be starting. There's 23 starters, and of course, um, it's over 10 laps. The Camalco Wonderlick Sports Sedan Series, round four. Lap record for this category is 50.9 seconds held by Brian Thompson in that uh, Mercedes of his. And uh, Kevin Bartlett has qualified under that time. It'll be interesting to see if he can, in fact, better the lap record in this race. I wouldn't mind betting that he can with a clean start. I think he probably can. In fact, Gary, the car is, what has Kevin described before, a pretty mean-looking beast, and he wasn't wrong. Uh, Brian Thompson, just talking of him, is in Canada this weekend, so won't be competing at this round, which is, in fact, the final round of the Camelco Wonder League Sports Sedan Series. 
There's Mike Griffin in the RX-7 Mazda. So yes, indeed, the lap record under threat and the circuit now very dry, whereas the first round or the first heat of this, a preliminary earlier on today, conditions were very slippery and greasy. And in fact, Kevin Bartlett and John Burke in car number 77, the Toyota, had a magnificent battle which had the crowd on their toes earlier on today just to warm things up. And uh, we're looking forward to now what I hope will be a repeat performance of the same kind of action. So KB getting a heart starter here by the look of it. Just to get him back in gear again. I think they've uh, led a charge. <laughs> I knew he was getting on, but I didn't know he had a plug-in pacemaker. I tell you what, if they fire that thing up on the pacemaker, it'll blow him through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> but Kev's been around, wants that uh, track record back, as Gary has already mentioned. And we also look forward to seeing Kevin Bartlett back in uh, Group A in the Starion, of course, for the um, Endurance Championship Series. Well, up until the last meeting here at Amaru, Kevin Bartlett was the fastest ever man around Amaru Park in the old Lola Formula 5000 car, but he was surpassed at the last meeting by John Bow in the Formula Mondiale. So we await with interest for round four of this series. Meantime, we'll take a break and be back after this. <laughs> 